Hey everyone, today we are reviewing the Recreational Barrel Works 60 liter barrel with the uh, Bad Hass harness system by level 6. Uh, we'll be going over why you would want to use a barrel, who wants to use a barrel, what situations you would do it, and, and the advantages or disadvantages of this versus hanging your food in a tree. So stay with me and we'll get going. One of the reasons I went with this system is I'm sick of hanging my food. I'm sick of getting to a camp late at night, especially at dark, which happens quite often it seems with me, because I have such a far drive to get where I'm going, and then I gotta spend the day getting there, and then, you know, after getting four hours of sleep the night before, the last thing you wanna do is tie a stick onto a rope and try and get it over a branch on a tree where you can, you know, hopefully get your food off the ground and away from the bears. This I plan on while I know it's bear proof, I'm not going to keep this in my camp. I'm going to end up putting this a little ways away, probably tying it to a tree, at least until I'm confident that I know that a bear is not going to get into it. Also, everything I'm going to be putting inside this is going to be going in uh, bags, uh, scent proof bags, just to give it another layer of protection. Now, the way to undo this is you pull it off like this, you can extend it a little bit, and then I, what I like to do is take the top off like that. And then to get it back on, like that. It's hard to do from sitting down. You just want to make sure that this ring is around and you snap it into place. Like that. Okay, so when I bought this, I ended up buying it, uh, there were some other accessories. So I bought the barrel and the harness both on Amazon. However, uh, when I went to a Recreational Barrel Works website and started watching videos from Casey Happy Camper, who has an awesome YouTube channel, so I would check it out if you can. Um, they made some accessories for this whole kit. Um, what they are is, is you've got a bunch of bags like this that you can stack on top of each other within the barrel. And what that does is it makes it so all your stuff is organized. And then they also have a um, the side deals. So once you're, once these bags are in here, these go around so you can keep like salt, pepper, spices, whatever you want. Oh, toilet paper and stuff. So I would say the thing I'm most happy about with buying the accessories through these guys is they make a cooler that fits in the bottom of this. And this thing is really cool. Um, it's, you know, not the greatest cooler ever, but it is insulated, so it is going to hold ice. What I did was I insulated the inside of my barrel. I don't know if you can see this with some uh, neoprene. And then on top of that, I ended up doing some reflectix that goes in the bottom. And the cooler fits in that. And then a piece of reflectix with more neoprene on top goes on top of it. Now, my test with that, I was able to get like about one and a half days without the reflectix and stuff on the regular cool cooler, which is fine. I mean, all you're gonna wanna do is end up wherever you're going camping. What it's gonna allow you to do is bring like a steak or two or some hot dogs or something that keep for a day or two in the cooler. Um, once I did the reflectix and the uh, neoprene and stuff, I was able to hold ice in this for about three and a half days, and that was opening it once a day, letting some air in. So you're probably wondering how much all this stuff costs, right? Well, let's break it down real quick. First off, let's start with the accessories that I got from Recreational Barrel Works. Uh, these two these two baskets, the side thing, and the cooler that I just showed you cost about $90. Uh, the problem with them is, is that because they're located in Toronto, the shipping charges are so expensive. Um, to have everything shipped here, these items in a you know little box like that, it was um, I think $35. So all in all, I paid like $125, $130 bucks after tax for um, all these accessories that go inside. What I will say is if I had to do it again, I really like the cooler, I do. Um, I think that's a smart purchase if you end up going with the barrel. At the end of the day though, I'm not so sure 
I would have gotten these bags again. I have some Osprey bags that I can use, the uh, fold-up waterproof ones, that I think would have done just about the same thing to help me organize everything within the cooler. Um, you know, whatever. It is what it is. I bought them. I'm going to use them. I'm not saying they're a bad product. I just think there are other options out there uh, available if you think about it or want to want to look at them like those uh, bags. That all being said, uh, we've got $100 for the barrel, $100 for the recreational barrel works, or the, the harness from uh, Bad Hass, and then $130 bucks for uh, the accessories inside. So at the end of the day, you're sitting at about $330. It is an expensive investment. Um, I know I'm going to be using it. I've got lots of canoe trips planned. Um, the harness is very comfortable. Uh, it's not a backpacking setup, obviously. It's for doing it across portages and stuff. You're going to be doing it a few times a day. You're not going to be racking tons of miles carrying this thing. Um, but I think it's a good option, especially at the end of the day, if you don't want to end up having to hang your food. Um, I'm really excited to use it. I've seen some other YouTubers use it. Um, and it seems like a smart thing to do. Uh, one thing I will note, uh, if you guys are going to be looking for more uh, reviews on these from other guys, uh, some of the other people end up flaying fish on these and cutting their meats and cheeses and all that stuff. To me, that defeats the whole purpose of having this. Uh, to me, it would the scent on this would probably attract more critters than it's worth. Um, but that's just me. Um, but again, uh, Recreational Barrel Works, I think they make a solid product. And I can't wait to use it. So uh, keep an eye out. I'll be doing more reviews over the next few weeks. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Thank you. Again, this whole system is with the trays and the cooler. Jesus Christ. The trays and the cooler, it's a...